from the left. He finds four tenths of a second. So narrows the gap a little bit to Camper and opens up about a four tenths of a second lead over Martin. So Tom DeYoung still sitting in second position. Rank Weedarn and uh, James Keenan. And Frank's got a 6.05 reaction time and it's a 34.4. Four tenths of a second improvement there for Frank. That is good enough for fifth position in class. James King with a 34.6. That's a 1.1 second for James. Uh, 1.1 second improvement, I should say. That is now in sixth position, only three tenths of a second short of Frank Weenard. That's a 2.2 second improvement for him, and Sebastian Rios finds about the same amount of time with a 34.2 on the right side. That's a two second improvement. So Foley's still uh, having the best time there in class. Uh, now that we're into the dry conditions, these drivers find about two seconds. We saw a lot of the A Street Corvettes finding that two to three second range. Uh, David Marcus and KJ Christopher are out there now, but KJ Christopher unfortunately scored a DNF on this run. 33.9 for Marcus, that's a 2.1 second improvement there uh, for David Marcus. Uh, so it looks like the B Street driver is finding just over two seconds uh, for the first couple of runs here. Matt McCabe and Chris Levitz will be next up. Uh, both these drivers here in SSC uh, in their Scion FRSs, and both of them running right around that same reaction time. 6.18 for McCabe, 6.14 for Levitz. Looks like McCabe's in with a 35.4, Levitt's with a 36.7. Both drivers finding about one and a half seconds. It's actually 1.6 for McCabe and 1.4 for Chris Levitt. So improvements there for both drivers. a 34-1 for him on the left side. That's a 1.8 second improvement, and that will move him into the lead as Jeremy Foley red lights his first right side time, 33-7 scratch time, but with a 471 red light there, unfortunately for Foley, as the screen lights up with a lot of red. KJ Christopher now with a red light, as well as Chris, Chris Levitz. Uh, so Christopher, a 34-1 on the left side, uh, but with the red light, 396 red light. David Marcus, a 33-7 on the right. It looks like I see the cursor of that. Nope, now the cursor is gone. So it looks like David uh, should be good. That is a 3.4 second improvement. If that stays clean, that will move him into the lead by seven tenths of a second. So Marcus, right now, your new leader in B Street. Chris Levitt's working on a cone and a red light. He's paired up with McCabe. McCabe is back with a 35-4. 2.4 second improvement there for McCabe. He's still your leader in SSC, and it's by nearly five seconds right now. Levitt's got a 35-1 with a red light and a cone. a little bit as well, 34-1 on the right side. 
No help for either driver to improve in class, but Clark Bolton up running a little bit of time. Sebastian still in second, Foley now in third. Big run from coming up for Foley over on the right side. David Marcus, your B Street leader, a 33-4. He finds nearly a half second, so now it's a 1.1 second lead for David Marcus in the class. KJ Christopher, a 34-9 on the right side. He finds 2.9 seconds on the right side, so good improvement there for KJ to go move up one spot in the fourth position in class. Matt McCabe and Chris Levitz will be our next finisher. This was our top pairing in SSC coming into afternoon runs. 35-1 for McCabe on the left. That's a three-tenths of a second improvement. Chris Levitz a 36-3 on the right. That's a 1.8 second improvement. So McCabe still leading the way here in SSC. this morning. What will Marcus have? It's a 5.14 reaction time. Get your He's camera right. Does he have the time? 33-4. He finds three tenths. David Marcus back in the lead in B Street. Man, uh, so Sebastian Rios a 34-2, yeah. but plus a count. So David Marcus right now ahead of Jeremy Foley. It's getting really interesting on that right side four. So right now, David Marcus right after one front. That right side four. So now I picked up Chris Lambert. I'm seven tenths for lower on the right. Close to the fast guys. I'm four two for KJ. Yeah. I just hit my shot. I was watching him. That makes him with a third five six on the right side. No help for him. Uh, going back to B Street, right, it looks man. like KJ right now good. is still Carson sitting good. in the fourth position. Oh, 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 all right, we've got uh, second drive, or sorry, more runs here in SSE. Chris Levitz and Malcolm Lawson, uh, all are trying to catch up with Matt McCabe. Chris Levitz, a 35-8, but it's plus a cone on the left side. That would have been a 1.8 second improvement. Malcolm Lawson, a 37-3 on the right. That's a four and a half second improvement for Malcolm Lawson, which is good enough for third position in class. Looks like he got about a tenth ahead of Connor Herrick on that run. Connor will be our next finisher as he's paired up here with Keith Marks. Will be good enough to move Connor back into the third spot. It will not. It's a 38-2. No help, and it's plus a cone. Keith Marks with a 34-7 on the right side. A 5.4 second improvement. So Keith is working his way into sixth position. Two more runs to go. One on each.